First thing I'm going to use is this premium sprayable stripper. Everybody loves a good stripper. What in the f All righty. And don't get this on your floors because I can tell you my garage has epoxy floors and I've gotten this stuff on the floor and it will actually take off epoxy. It's taking the first maybe two layers off. I'll give it another coat. Time for a little sanding. I'm going to sand the top. I'm not so worried about the legs. I am going to hit them with sander just to smooth them out, but the legs I'm actually going to paint, whereas the top I'm going to attempt to stain. My goal is to make this as real as possible. And so what I want to do, I'm going to measure it out and cut with my circular saw to make it appear as if, you know, they're individual pieces of wood, much like a farm table. This is either going to, you know, make the whole thing or it's going to literally shred this wood. You can use any straight edge. I'm using the level and then I will also use the level for my guide when I'm cutting. All right, I got the guides all set up, everything marked. If I got it plugged in, huh? Alright. Alright, so it is day number two and I am back inside because it is way too cold to try to even attempt to finish this in my garage. So I brought everything back in here. I have my assistant Carmen who is probably going to poop all over the place. So let's just get into it, right? Screw this glove. All right. So I'm going to put the first coat of antique white on. Spread it around, and then since this color, the, the bleach, the sun bleach, is very close to the color that I'm going to use for the cushions, I'm going to use this on top of that. Now that the antique white is on, I have it in the grooves, I'm just going to hit up just kind of random sections and then also I'm going to try to work more of, uh, of the sun bleach into the grooves and then really just hit up random sections so I can get a good mixture of the undertone of what the um, cushions will be like. Then uh, about 
10 minutes. This will be dry enough and we can do the wood grain, the fun part. You can kind of see that it resembles wood grain. Four more like this, and we're good. The color that I went with is called Fashion Gray. So I'm gonna pop this open and paint the table and paint the chairs. Walk along the razor's head, but don't look down, just keep your head up. Should be wrapping it up all the chairs are done i just have to put the actually screw the cushions on and for the table i want to soften up the top a little bit and just kind of add a whitewash over it just slightly I'm getting ready to show you the, all the before and after pictures. Thank you for checking out my video. If you are currently subscribed, awesome. If you just kind of stumbled across this video and are checking out my channel for the first time, I would invite you to consider subscribing to my channel, like the video, comment, share the video. I'm James Boyd. My channel is Sticks and Homes. And here is the final product for the dining room set.